Good day everyone, it is Caitlin and today we are getting dressed as a couple in 1860 getting ready for church. It's a late spring Sunday morning in 1860 in an, in an upper working class household. The family, consisting of a newlywed couple, is eating breakfast in the dining room. The new household mousers are free to roam and play unattended while the humans are in another room. First, the lady comes in to get ready. She's in her chemise. To start with, she needs to put on her stockings, garters, and shoes. Today, she is wearing her white cotton stockings, some brand new elastic garters, which is a new development in women's fashion, as well as her side lacing boots. Next, her husband comes in in his shirt and drawers and begins to put on his stockings. His are red wool stockings. Meanwhile, in the background, his wife is busy putting on her corset. She does not need her husband's help to put on her corset. She can do it on her own. The man's drawers have ties on the end that serve as his garters to keep his own stockings up. Therefore, he does not need extra garters. The next layer a man wears is his trousers. These are wool. They button in the front with bone buttons. The next step for the man is to put on his braces. We would call them suspenders today. These button onto his trousers to help keep the trousers from falling down. In the background, you can see the wife putting on her petticoats. She starts off with a white petticoat, a white cotton petticoat. And as her husband is tightening his braces, she's putting on her crinoline before she remembers something very important. Oh, darling, I need you a new shirt. Oh. Did I mention that? Let's wear that to church. Okay. What's wrong with this shirt? <laughs> We're going to church, dear. All right. Lovely. Just like you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you're halfway dressed before I remembered it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With the new shirt remembered, the wife can resume putting on her cage crinoline, after which she will put on another petticoat to soften the lines of the hoop. This is all while her husband is putting on the new shirt and putting his braces back over his shoulders. We are now at the point where the lady can start putting on her dress. She is upper working class, but still upper class working people can afford silk gowns, especially if they buy them second hand, as this lady has done. You can see the mend where she had to make the dress bigger, or the skirt bigger, by adding a piece at the waistband, and it does not match the silk of the skirt itself. While the husband is putting up his braces, the wife is putting on her bodice. She is wearing what is called a basque bodice, which to us looks a lot like a jacket, but this is a bodice. These bodices were very popular in the 1850s and stood their last hurrah between 1860 and 1861. So this dress will be soon out of fashion and it will have to be made over into the latest fashion. Notice the gown is low cut. This will be fixed later since she is going to church and low cut gowns are a sign of evening wear. Other hallmarks of this gown, aside from the low cut bodice that would not be appropriate for church, are the large pagoda sleeves which were very popular in the 1850s and started not becoming popular early 1860s and were gone by 1862. The whole bodice is trimmed with blue silk fringe. The silk itself is a silk jacquard. The bodice closes with hooks and eyes and there is a tucker on the very top because this is an evening gown and was last worn as an evening gown. Underneath the sleeves are broderie anglaise under sleeves. 
Now the lady will put on what is known as a pelerine. This particular one matches the bodice she is wearing, and it makes the low-cut bodice appear as a day dress, but is easily removable for evening wear and other such activities. The man of the house has just gone to check on the carriage. Meanwhile, the lady shall put on her accessories. Can I go touch you nicely? Mm -hmm. The man will now put on his boots while the lady puts on her earrings. Now that his wife has completed dressing, it is up to the man to quickly get ready for church before they are late. He is tying his cravat or neckerchief around his neck. Next, he puts on his vest while his wife goes to grab his frock coat. His vest buttons all the way up, and then it's time for him to check his pocket watch. Next, the man brings out his pocket watch to wind it to get it to the right time before they leave. Ready? I believe so. The husband stops to comb his hair to make sure it's nice and neat for church while his wife impatiently holds the frock coat ready to get going. Next, the wife helps her husband to get into his frock coat, making sure everything nice and neat and fits very well. And it is time to get going. Again. The man gets his hat and the lady her bonnet, and they are off and ready to go. Thank you so much for watching today as we've got our couple dressed. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, have a fantastic week and I'll see you back here on Monday.